Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. If you are a new or returning player to Hearthstone, you may have noticed that, hey, where did the decks go? You were supposed to get a free deck, but you don't. However, that is a bug and Blizzard is working on it. From known issues post updated for 6, new returning player decks are not currently available. This was not intended. We will not be able to reinstate new returning player decks with a hotfix this week like previously planned. The new 26.0 decks will be added when Festival of Legends unlocks on April 11th and affected players will get to choose from those loner decks. So if you can't get the deck right now, don't worry, on Tuesday Festival of Legends unlocks and then you will get to choose. There's also been an other bug where people who have been returning to the game haven't been unable to progress any quests, but at least some bugs for that have been fixed because today there was a hotfix and it says progression fixed a bug preventing quest completion for some returning players under certain circumstances. Could it be much more vague than that? Not really, but if you have had trouble completing a quest then that should now be fixed like minutes ago and the deck you're going to get on April 11th. But what will you pick? What will be the new decks like? How do we know? As it happens, during Theorycrafting livestreams event we got a glimpse of what could be the new decks. Because when the Theorycrafting livestream accounts went to start a game, they were confronted with this. Hey, you need to claim your deck. And oh my, it looks like we're going to have Beast of the Deep for Hunter, Arcane Power for Mage, a Legendary Invitation for Paladin, Jackpot for Rogue, Infused Power for Warlock, and Embrace the Bane for Warrior as options. So Priest deck seems to be going out, if this is accurate. I have no reason to doubt that it should be, but I mean, there's still time for Blizzard to make some changes if they like. Either way, which one of these decks should you pick? We have the Paladin deck, a Legendary Invitation, and this is a fairly strong pick, because it has Blood Major Cleodrin, Purator, Countess, Leviathan. Alright, that's four Legendary cards. That's not bad at all. Note that none of the decks contain any cards from the new Festival of Legends expansion, that's how it always works, but all of these cards will be available in the standard year for the next year. So okay, Paladin is a pretty solid choice. Then we have the Mage deck, and the Mage deck is going to give you Astalor, Commander Sivara, and Vexalus. So if you want to play some kind of Light Show Mage, if Light Show Mage will be a thing, then this could be a strong choice. Even though it only gives you three legendary cards. And then there is the Hunter deck, Beast of the Deep, which gives you Defense Attorney Nathanos, Sylvanas the Accused, and Hydraladon. Not much else, so this isn't that great. It gives you most of the Wild Spirits cards, but it doesn't give you doesn't give you Aralon, it doesn't give you the legendary card for the Wild Seeds package, so that's a bit of a bummer. So kind of okay, but not great. And the rogue deck is what was already available, and the rogue deck of course value-wise this is incredible. Shadow of Demise, Astalor, Potion Master Putricide, Queen Azara, Krabatoa. Five legendary cards. That's, that is just stunning, and including the latest Rogue Legendary cards before the new expansion, Shadow of Demise and Potion Master Pewter side, both of which are incredibly powerful. So if you want to play Rogue, then this is a really great choice. Then we have the Warlock deck, which is getting some upgrades. It's changing from an Imp Warlock into a Curse Imp Warlock, and the addition of Lady Darkwain, Zakul, and Imp King Rafam. So three really strong Legendary cards, obviously only three, and how good are the curses going to be in the new expansion, we don't know yet, but right, that's sort of choosable. And finally we have the Warrior deck, and the Warrior deck is the worst deck out of these. Warrior deck has Toribalore, Decimator, Olgran, Nelly. Yeah, you kind of don't want those Warrior Legendaries. I guess Decimator, Olgran has uses in some decks, but... That's not the greatest set of Warrior Legendary cards, only three Legendary cards. Enrage Warrior doesn't look like it's going to be the top warrior archetype in the new expansion, so I probably wouldn't pick the warrior deck. But especially the Paladin deck and the Rogue deck seem like great value. Mage deck, if you want to play Mage, also seemed like pretty good. So there are definitely some strong options. They are not in particular stronger than they used to be, of course they're a little bit different. Like you couldn't pick a Mage deck before and now you can, so depending on what class you like to play, there are some differences. But yeah. You have to get through without the free deck 
until Tuesday, and on Tuesday you will get to pick one, and I believe it's going to be one of these six options. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.